Scuba divers help schoolboys trapped in a cave system. As I'm sure you're aware of the story of the 12 schoolboys and their coach who are stuck in a cave system in Northern Thailand. But just in case you're not, here's a brief description on what's happening as of Friday morning. So the football team and their coach were exploring the caves when a flash flood filled up the cave system, trapping them in around two and a half miles into this cave system. They were found 11 days later by British cave divers. At this time, the boys were in waist high waters. Um, so the first plan of action was to install pumps to get rid of as much of the water as possible. When found, they seemed to be in good spirits, yet hungry, uh, and of course they were happy to see the scuba divers, which is really nice to hear. Unfortunately, the cave system that they are in is a very complex one. In fact, it's noted as one of the toughest cave dives in the world due to very strong water flow, zero visibility, and at stages, there are very confined spaces that are so narrow that cave divers have to take off their cylinders just to fit through. So they're working on a system of getting the boys out, uh, but of course it can't just happen overnight. So what is the plan? Well, cave divers are now giving the boys a crash course in scuba diving. They're placing cylinders along the route so that boys can stop at regular intervals to ensure enough air supply. Sadly, while sorting out this air supply, ex-Navy diver Saman Gunan lost his life. He was coming back from a delivery of cylinders, but he didn't have enough air to get him all the way back. He lost consciousness and sadly passed away. Our thoughts are, of course, with the Gunan family. Governments are doing as much as they can to help the boys and their teacher. Uh, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has even stepped up to the cause, uh, saying that he might be able to bore them out. Uh, he also plans to send the rescue team high-powered battery packs and pumps. His other company, Boring Co., has advanced ground penetrating radar, which they can use to pinpoint where the boys are and dig them out so they won't have to dive in this dangerous cave system. As of recording, they haven't started to move any of the children out yet. They're still working on the best way to get them out. No doubt there have been some developments since filming this that we haven't mentioned in this story. If there are, then let's please talk about it in the comments so that we can all keep updated on this terrible story.